thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Um, today is going to do a very quick update or upgrade uh, on our second generation's uh, Data 2.0 inverter. Yeah? Um, the product actually is already in the market uh, for more than six to nine months already. Uh, when we uh, upgrade from generation one to generation two, uh, we did not do a video during that time. Actually, I was quite busy and tied up. Yeah. So um, basically, for the generation two, uh, in terms of technology advancement, will be not much to shout about, but what we uh, add in is something that uh, most of the customer request uh, which is to work on the uh, USB section yeah so uh, what we did is actually all this model uh, they come with the USB because like uh, we mentioned in the uh, previous a lot of video uh, USB charging or USB power will be uh, very important uh, in our modern day life yeah especially as like uh, charging your handphone is all by USB power and the second thing that we update is actually is the fuse holder at the back yeah so uh, we have a fuse holder at the back now uh, you can uh, unscrew this and just change the fuel yeah uh, not like the first generation you need to open up the whole casing and uh, in order to you know change the fuse yeah so like this one uh, you don't need to unscrew uh, basically we can remove this and change the fuse yeah so this is the minor minor upgrade uh, I put on our second generation's uh, uh, data 2.0 uh, inverter and for some high-end model such as the pure sign uh, we come we also add in another we call it the uh, remote uh, controller basically is connected to a uh, you can call this telephone wire okay so you have uh, let's say you want to increase the length uh, of this wire uh, you can just go out there and grab yeah so it's a normal telephone wire um, this remote controller uh, basically it can be used to control your on off of your uh, inverter and also to monitor your uh, battery uh, power yeah from 20% to 60% to 100% and of course let's say is any problem uh, charging problem or or uh, any fault of from the battery uh, you can use this uh, to monitor yeah so this is the three uh, upgrade that we have on the uh, theta, uh, theta 2.0 inverter uh, for us under the solar power mark, we will not spend too much uh, resources uh, to further improve the inverter so called the off grid inverter technology is because we always feel uh, when you converting from a 12V to, uh, to 240 VAC the conversion is always no matter how great your technology is uh, there is a losses yeah at least 20 to 30 percent losses yeah and uh, we will say that in the modern day uh, appliances or devices a lot of that is actually from AC to uh, DC yeah? for example I'll give you an example for example TV yeah, used to be an AC yeah? CRT TV but these days a lot of TV actually run on DC same thing for lighting another good example used to be AC lighting like uh, you know 5 watt 20 watt energy saving but, but these days AVD all run in uh, DC and you will see a lot of modern equipment such as PC, tablet, they all run on DC. Yeah? So that is a main reason we feel uh, in years to come, a lot of technology itself will be in DC. So uh, in other words, uh, inverter, especially off grid inverter is in the uh, you know, dying stage. Yeah? Uh, but however, we still will carry the product, uh, do some minor improvement right now and uh, of course to improve the quality so that it will not easy to break down yeah those who always use inverter always know that uh, inverter always tend to break down and most of the reason is actually is not the product itself it's actually is the way we use the inverter uh, for the most reason that inverter breakdown is because of let's say 
you have a 500 watt inverter most of the time you need to divide it by 10 so that is it will give you 500 divided by 10 it will give you about 50 AH uh, in other 50 uh, 500 divided by 10 the rule of thumb is always 500 divided by 10 or 150 divided by 10 uh, like for example this will get about 50 this will get about 15 yeah? uh, what does it mean is actually it means that uh, let's say if you 500 divided by 10 uh, it's gonna give you 50 that means you must at least use a battery bank at least 50 AH 50 M hour in order to power this guy but let's say if you go and use something like only uh, 20 or 30 AH basically uh, you are killing the inverter as well as killing your battery so most of this reason will cause the uh, inverter to be damaged yeah then of course uh, wrong connection positive negative yeah because high power when you connect wrongly and a lot of things uh, burn and things like that yeah overuse let's say for example this is 150 watt you go and use about 300 watts of uh, uh, power definitely like this you will you know keep causing power to the inverter yeah but of course um, like I said if you want to go ahead with the lease uh, there are a lot of way of a user problem and when they use it yeah and probably I want to go with the last uh, thing is uh, we have another range of uh, inverter so you can call this as the uh, UPS kind of inverter. What does it does is actually, beside of these two, you connect to the your power bank, your battery. Yeah, sorry, not power bank, your your, your battery bank, and you power this guy as a normal pure sine wave uh, inverter. Okay, but let's say uh, it come with another feature is we call it the USB uh, UPS. Sorry, UPS power is actually is when you can plug in this. Okay, and you plug into your socket and with this uh, it can use as a charger to charge back your uh, uh, battery bank yeah for example let's say uh, you want to use this as a backup yeah you worry about let's say your area got a lot of break break uh, break out uh, no power come in or sometimes like that so what you do is actually you want to for emergency what you can do is you put uh, one piece of uh, 50 AH or 40 AH or 65 AH battery and then connect to this guy. Let's say uh, no power come, then you can use the inverter to power your uh, equipment, your PC, things like that. Uh, when uh, let's say the power come back, uh, you can use this uh, to charge back uh, your battery bank. It's actually, it's, we call it the uh, UPS kind of inverter basically is also an inverter is also a charger two in one yeah so mostly this kind of unit actually use in the uh, UPS yeah so uh, this one is actually uh, very useful for the people that want to use for backup and do not want to spend money on solar panel and charge controller yeah so let's say your place is always a lot of backup then this is the best unit to use yeah so when the power come back from TMB or Cisco or you know SSB you just uh, charge it back yeah and prepare for the you know uh, next event yeah so this is uh, our short review on our data 2.0 inverter and do go to our website and check out the uh, you know the rest of the upgrade yeah and uh, thanks for watching our YouTube uh, channel Some of you may still asking, is there any difference between the blue color and the black color inverter? Uh, does it blue still represent the modified wave and the black represent the uh, pure sine wave uh, inverter? No. Uh, right now, we do not do that anymore. Uh, basically, it differentiates uh, based on the logo here yeah? and the word here. Let's say it's modified, it's modified, it's pure, it's pure. 
and the PO is a different logo. Yeah. Uh, I know some of you probably will ask, what is this uh, for actually? Uh, basically, this is is our new way of doing grounding. Okay. So basically, you let's say certain inverter when they require a big power, like for example this one thousand watt. Basically, minimum requirement you need at least a hundred AH uh, battery. And of course, if you don't do a proper grounding like this guy, uh, whereby you can uh, connect to your ground, uh, so that it can you know discharge it. Uh, if something go wrong, you can discharge it uh, properly, and then it will not. Uh, damaging uh, your devices, yeah. So uh, there are more improvement. Uh, do drop out our website and uh, look at those uh, improvements.